with our custom we're going to go ahead and continue on with our customization of our Joomla site and what we're going to do next is that we are going to add an article so notice on this web page here I've got basically two articles being displayed the first article is down below okay so you notice here I am dedicated to producing the most cutting edge that is sorry that's not I apologize that's not an article <laughs> we only have one article on the page right now and basically what it is is when I click this link right here a modal dialog opens up and an, an article is displayed up here okay so this is data science project right there all right makes sense okay now the way that articles are displayed is that you can have articles in on your site an article is just basically a piece of content and then you can link to an article uh, using a um, menu okay so a lot of times even if you don't so notice that we don't have a menu on this on this page but on the back end you need a menu for Joomla to be able to reference the article by a URL okay so so essentially we we can make an article and then we add it to a menu to give it a URL so we can so we can use it later on all right okay so um, so let's go ahead and do that so we have our content here uh, and we have no categories, so everything is uncategorized as, uh, as, as of yet. Okay, so we have uncategorized items. Uh, so let's go ahead and we're going to click on articles. Okay, so we have one article here, and I'm just going to open it up in a new tab so we can reference it. And then I'm going to go ahead and click new for new article. And I'm going to call this, um, we're going to call this data visualization. Okay. And basically what we're going to do here is I'm just going to add in some placeholder text, you know, because it's a sample. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and choose an image. So images are handled a little bit weird. Notice there are a couple of image buttons here. So we're going to click the one on the bottom for image. And notice that what it's showing me is it's showing me a, um, a, selection of images sorry not a selection it's showing me the image folder in the root of my uh, Joomla installation okay so I've uploaded previously I've uploaded via SFTP into a, uh, a folder called projects okay and we're gonna go ahead and choose one of them okay and I'm gonna click insert all right now notice it's giant okay so what I can do is now it's going to show as full size usually in the um, in the uh, screen where we're going to show it. Um, that's kind of a glitch in here, but for now, what we can do is we can just click the upper image one. You know, so I've got selected. Click the upper one, and we're going to make it just uh, 200 there. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and enter, and then I'm going to go ahead and just paste my sample text, and we have our sample content now. So this is our sample sample article here. We have a big image, and we have some text describing the, what would be our project uh, if this was a portfolio site. Now notice that then we have some options. Okay, so first of all, we have published, uncategorized, featured, no, public access. So you really kind of have to pay attention to all of this. Okay, so those are fine. Image and links, we don't have any okay on this one options everything is used global blog options we don't have publishing we don't have configure edit screen we don't have and then permissions we don't have but you can take a look at those okay all right so that's all for that one article all right okay so we're gonna go ahead save and close okay now our problem here is that we have an article inside Joomla now we've made the article called data, data visualization but there's really no way to get to it okay so it has not been assigned a URL uh, by Joomla so it's in the system but there's no way it's not published anywhere okay so what we have to do is we have to actually add a menu item and what I did was I just created a menu so so um, I said add new menu and I created a menu called type portfolio title portfolio type portfolio kept it site and then click save okay and that resulted in me having a menu called portfolio okay so if I have menus and I click portfolio notice that I have this one called data sinus project and I'm gonna go ahead and add another one okay so this is a necessary step so this is data visualization okay and a menu item type, I'm going to go ahead and click on um, articles and then single article. All right. 
And then notice I still don't have a URL here, so I'm going to go ahead and select a URL, and I'm going to select data visualization. Okay, and then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save this. Okay. Okay, now notice once I save, then that's when I actually get the URL here. Okay, so I can go ahead and copy that URL. And if I actually went in and pasted it as my URL, so this index PHP, right, and then the URL, notice that I would actually get the uh, get the article itself here on the uh, on the screen. Now the template is not set up to show the article because there's no component section, but this is where it would be. Okay. Otherwise, if I say had a different ID here, we'd get like a you know not found, basically or a blank. Okay, so we have our URL that we're going to use. Okay. Now we have a couple other things to do here. Okay, so um, okay. Actually, I think we're okay. All right, so that's it. So we're just gonna that's that's it. Once we see the uh, once we see the link there, that's all there is to it, and we're gonna go ahead and click save and close. Okay, um, uh, there we have it. Um, so that is how we create an article, and we create a menu item to point to that article. Uh, best of luck.